Hey guys, and welcome back to another Code in Exiles video. Today we are back on the Isle of Siptar, building a raider's camp near the Grave of the Leviathan. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I'm starting off with of course the base plate. You can see the blueprint on screen now, and it's quite a simple design that should be very easy to replicate. Next for the walls. For the material palette I chose stone brick and flotsam to get a strong yet rough look for this keep and I'll be building the walls on the ground floor two tiles high. This keep will be the only real structure that requires any serious construction in the camp, however I'll also be placing down tents, beds etc in the area around this building to build up the camp. Once I'd finished the ground floor walls, I built up a small 2x2 two two section onto which I'll place the stairs to access the first floor. I then placed flotsam ceilings to cap off the walls below, leaving a decent sized open area in the centre of the first floor. Next, the first floor walls. This is quite a simple affair. I firstly built out two rooms on the left hand side, overhanging one room and supporting it with the pillar I placed earlier below. I then continued to build up the walls around the first floor at an average height of two tiles high, though I did drop a tile to one tile high on the side room opposite the bedrooms, and I left balconies at the front and the rear. After placing the stairs, I began on the roof gables. I started off by using flotsam sloping pieces to mark out where I wanted the roof gables to sit, and in which way I wanted the roof to run. In the process of building up the roof gables, I also chose to raise a 2x2 two two tower in the back left corner of the main room of the first floor. This is a fairly short tower, so you won't be expected to see absolutely everything from here, but it will provide a small viewing platform and more importantly will help to break up the monotony of the main roof quite nicely. Once the gables were complete, it was then a simple task of just placing the roof pieces down according to the gables I placed earlier. I placed some regular awnings on the front balcony, and then made a start on the roof, again just simply following the flow of the gables, and introducing some nice shape variety wherever possible. Once I finished off placing the roof pieces, I then used flotsam wall caps to add a bit more structural variety. These wall caps are pretty nice just for detailing, and I think the protruding elements and the ropes work really nicely for the theme of this build. Finally, I added doors around the build, and that was the inner keep finished. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the camp, I've extended the overall footprint of the settlement by drawing out a large palisade wall around the camp. I've also added some accursed banners to the camp to give it a bit more of a raider-like feel, and I've also added large tents throughout the yard. These tents include workstations for smelting, smithing, tanning, etc., an outdoor meeting and dining area, some cages for prisoners, a very narrow yet tall watchtower, and a sleeping area for six of the eight raiders that will live in this camp. The palisade walls really help to establish that rough feeling of the raider theme, which I think works really nicely.
Entering the central keep, this is the heart of the camp, and it's where the raiders can hold their meetings, rest between excursions, and just generally spend their downtime. The ground floor holds a very nice lounge area, alongside some seating towards the back of the floor and a storage section underneath the stairs. There's also a small prison inside on the right hand side for high value hostages, usually ones being held for ransom by the raiders. Heading upstairs, the right side has a table for eight to hold indoor meetings, and I've also extended the walkway on this right side a little bit to allow for a bit more casual seating. On the opposite side are two bedrooms for the two higher up members of the Raider clan, hence why there are only six beds outside but eight raiders in the camp. The bedrooms are fairly modest, though it seems one of the higher ups has been flirting with the eldritch knowledge of Sibtar. Finally, the Keep's Watchtower is fairly short and stubby, but it provides a clean viewing platform to survey the surrounding area. And there we have it, a raider camp on the Isle of Siptar, near the grave of the Leviathan. Thanks for watching, I've been playing a good amount of Fallout 76 over the past month or two, which kind of gave me the inspiration to think about how raider camps would appear in Conan Exiles, and considering this is my first attempt, I think this actually came out quite nicely. If you enjoy my content, all the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Host Havoc affiliate page, NordVPN discount and NordPass discount are available in the description below. However, of course, you can simply just leave a like, a comment or subscribe, any of those are very greatly appreciated. Patrons get a bunch of nice benefits including sneak peeks of videos, your name in every video, custom made wallpapers in 1080p and 4k resolutions, full size build blueprints, discord roles and more. On that note, a massive thanks to our patrons Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Ivy, Torn, Coffee Man 04, and Eagle Rose. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.